I put the chopstick in here so the wire doesn't hit down and make indentions in the clay. Now this right here is your wheel of how the cookie cutters are going to be evenly spaced. So I look in here and I can figure out what type of theme do I want. I have leaves, I have, this is, what is this, looks like some type of leaf as well, kind of a strange ginkgo leaf here. I have a butterflies and this is a small starfish. So what I'm going to do here is I want them spaced five apart from each other. I mean I want one, two, three, four, five. And the best thing to do is you need to dip this in water before you press it in, otherwise it'll stick. So I look here and I have a five here and I'm going to take this, I want it to be like, like that, and I'm going to put it in the middle. If you put it up high or low, don't put it too close to the bottom or top, about a centimeter away. If it's too close, what's going to happen? Who can tell me? Oh, what's going to happen? It's going to crack when it dries. So I'm going to put this one in the middle. I've lined it up with a five, put it about in the middle. And I want to do is hold my hand here, and I press in, and I rock it back and forth. Because this is curved, it's not a flat surface, I need to rock it back and forth. And I pull it out, and I don't need this. So this goes in the scrap. So again, I line this up with a five here. Can you rotate the... Oh, I'll put it do right here. So I do a next one here, and I see exactly how I put it in. So there we go. And I line it up, put it in the middle. Here's the five here. I press it in, take this off, rock it back and forth, pull it out. Oh. You want to make sure you dip it in the water each time, yes. A different one. But you know what? What's really nice is if you're consistent with everyone, you do the same. Now I'll show you what you can do. I'll take this. 16 buckets. And I'll take this what's here, the, and I'll the, press wow. this in here. Now, for time, I can do every one here. I rock it back and forth. There you go. Now, you ask if you can do a different one. This is the time that you can do a different one here. I can get some other sea creature or something else here. Let's see what I got here. Ooh, that's a shark. That's kind of, well, not my work. That actually is going to work. It's not too big. I take this here, and what I can do is I can put it right between the two other ones. So those are on this side here. I can take it and put it right in the middle there. But I can't see. So I'm going to take this here, dip it in the water again, and I press it in here. Make sure it's not too close to the top or bottom. I press it in, and I rock it back and forth, and I pull it out, and there we go. Wow. So, and I can continue all the way around. I can do it here as well. Make sure it's the same height each time in the middle. Press it in, rock it back and forth, pull it out, there we go. Now once I've finished everything, I've gone all the way around. I'm not going to do that for the sake of time. We only have about 45 minutes left. I pull this out. It pulls right out. That's because there's paper on here. If I didn't have paper on, it would stick. And this pulls right out. Now, this, we don't need this anymore. Throw this away. So now what I need to do right now is it's kind of lopsided. And you look in, because you're going to be standing up doing this whole thing. And I push on the inside, try to make it round. Make it round, make it round, and smooth the top here and maneuver it around. What is so, it fall? Well, it shouldn't fall because it's a circle. If it was just a flat piece of clay like this, it would fall. Now look at the top here. I need to smooth this. Take my sponge. I don't need to dip this in the water anymore. Just take a little bit of it and look what I'm doing. I'm smoothing the top and it's getting the edges here. And it's smoothing it. So you have a nice smooth product. Now if you don't cut out your shapes very well, you're going to have rough edges. Now look around, and you might need to press in some of the shapes if they have corners sticking out. So make sure every corner is not sticking out. The last thing you're going to do is, I have where to put those. You need to have a candle tray. Sometimes you put candles on. You have extra clay at your table. This is going to be like a big cookie cutter. And you're going to take it, and you're going to press in the clay, cut it out, and you're going to stick it in the middle. You're going to take it and just drop it inside because that is where your candles are going to go on. So does everyone understand how this works? Yes. So I take it here. You look. So it's going to look really nice. So you're going to put candles in here, and it's going to shine through. So you also don't want to put them too close. See how close this is right here? No closer than that should be the 
things that you cut out because it will crack, it'll crack. So not too close to the top, too close to the bottom, too close to each other, space them evenly apart. Yes? Can you use this to cut another You cut, yes. What you're going to do is you're going to cut a plate of clay and it's going to go inside Where? for the candles. Where's the clay? The clay is at your we table. You have extra clay now. there. So that's what yeah, it's going to work. Yes? Time. Can we mix the things like it? we we put a tree there and down there we we just put down there so some other things. There's yeah. a gap there. There's a gap. Well, I wouldn't put any gaps at the bottom no, because. I, no, I mean, we just over it. <coughs> overlap? Yeah. You can overlap. As long as it doesn't have a really sharp edge and it works, you can do it if you want to overlap. The main thing is consistency. Have a pattern. What's my pattern on here? What's my pattern? Yes. Shark, star, shark, star. Shark, star, shark, star. star I wouldn't star, just go shark. shark, then tree, then leaf then whatever. It doesn't look very good. It's good if you have a pattern. You can use just one cookie cutter or two. But think about the time you have to do this. Make sure you have enough time. Does everyone understand this wheel, the measurement wheel? Yes. Okay. So this is what you're going to do. Listen up. When I say go, you're going to go to your table and you're going to together smooth out the top part of the big piece of clay. Then there's enough for three. You're going to cut out. Let the, put these down. Here. You're going to cut out with the papers three strips. I know there's four at every table. That's why I have an extra one at this table here. There wasn't room to fit it at all the tables. Then what you're going to do is you're going to flip your own over and what's the back side going to be? It's going to be smooth. It's going to be rough, but you need to smooth it with the sponge. Now remember, when you're smoothing, you want to squeeze out as much water as you can. If it's too slippery, it's going to be hard to work with. Then what do I do after both sides are smooth? I put it on the bucket. Wrap it around. That's the tricky part. You wrap it around, you press it together, then you put it on a bat. This is a plastic bat, and you start cutting out. Cookie cutters are here. I don't want anyone grabbing cookie cutters until it's wrapped around your bucket. Yes? Um, but where's our cutters? The cutters are right here. Oh, these cutters? I will bring them to you. You need to smooth right now. While you're uh, smoothing the clay out, I will bring the cutters around. Are they? Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. So, let's get going.